No, we have the same motorcycle. Look at that. <laughs> That's definitely not the beach. Today's video. No, yes, yes. Of course we have an, uh, we have an R250 RT. Ham and cheese. Little Willy here. <laughs> Little Willy with the uh, with the R1250 RT over speed bump. Sure, why not, Smokey? Because you know it's a BMW, and uh, I mean. Hot, hot. Oh, look at that. We got a Ferrari F90. Nice. Room. I kid you not. The GoPro 9 broke again. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> kind of lost here. It's not an adventure until you're lost. <laughs> Yo, guys, welcome back to the channel. Oh, welcome back to yet another video. As you guys asked for it, Smokey, do some more traveling. So yeah, in today's video, without any further ado, we're just going to be doing five countries. One single day, a thousand kilometers on the BMW police bike. The BMW brand spanking new R1250 RT. I already reset the trip to zero kilometers. And the plan is by the end of the day, I have to do 1000 kilometers or more or I'm not going home. Even if my ass is bleeding, I don't really care. I want to do 1,000 kilometers in a single day. Five countries, well, let's go. Let's go to Katzand. Katzand is going to be our first stop. Uh, we're now in Belgium. We're going all the way to Katzand. It's like 160 kilometers. And this is like a bathing spot. We're gonna have like uh, kiblings and some fish and whatnot. First country, the Netherlands. So I'll probably be spending like 10 hours on a motorcycle or something. If you guys wanted to see me do some adventures, let's do some adventures. Now this is a site you don't see much. Four G-Classes, brand spanking new Mercedes G-Classes on a trail. Look at that. Now when I left the house, I was thinking, am I going to take the side panniers off just in case I need to do a lot of lane splitting? I was like, nah, not gonna do that. Now this is a pretty big boat, it's like 280 kilograms. It is not the smallest motorcycle and the cases, the panniers are actually sticking out more as the handlebar and the mirrors. So normally when my mirrors fit, the bike fits, but in this case, it does not. So I uh, gotta be a little bit careful. I don't ricochet off uh, some car's mirror or something, you know. Gotta be a bit careful today. I do have a big horn. Ah, <laughs> oh, they'll get out of my way. Oh shit, something happened. I cannot ride on this lane. That means there's an accident that happened on the left lane. Can't park there, mate. He's in trouble. That's why they actually uh, canceled the left part. Can't park there, mate. Real sorry. I hope you'll be fine. Anyway, adventure. Now, I'm just doing like 140 here. And this is by far the most comfortable motorcycle I have ever been on. The weather is epic. We'll be crossing into the Netherlands in just a second. I've already done my first 100 kilometers. And it feels like I can do like a thousand more on this thing. It is so... Oh, windmills, sun, beautiful scenery. Probably another BMW in front of me. No, no, we have the same motorcycle. Look at that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> that is actually kind of hilarious. That is hilarious. It's just on the exact same motorcycle as me. <laughs> One of the craziest places I've ever seen. They have like a giant chopper, a big vase. There's like cars on tops of motorcycles and some excavators, some very big cranes. No idea what that place actually is. I should get out a visit as well in the future. I don't know. In the future. Not now. Not now. Just in the future. This is actually funny. Look what they did to uh, that traffic camera. Look at that speed camera. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed that thing. Now it looks like we're on the countryside, but we are very close to the Dutch border in Katzand. It's also next to Knokke, and Knokke is like the 
yeah it's uh, the one percent lifestyle over there it's like probably yeah, it's people like this uh, a lot of rich people over there a lot of feeder papas 18 year olds driving their daddy's bentley's and stuff like that so first we're going into katsan because we have to do the netherlands we're gonna have some breakfast and after that i'm going uh, through knokke uh, the rich town the rich part <laughs> the rich part of belgium and then uh, on our way to france but first Cat sand it is in the Dutch border. A short fun fact yet again now the mayor of uh, Knokke was also getting very pissed because the rich are not only parking their Rolls Royces, uh, their uh, Bugattis, their Porsches, but they're also buying a lot of golf carts. And they were parking them every freaking where, uh, <laughs> blocking roads, blocking uh, bike lanes and whatnot. Fun fact we will see a lot of golf carts as well. Anyway, I'm hungry. <laughs> This is a natural park and I'm a little bit lost here. I'm very sorry. This is not the Netherlands. I'm at the national park. This is not where I was supposed to be. I think there's water behind that uh, little mountain over there. Uh, I can check that out in a second. I have no idea. Let's just check it out. That's definitely not the beach or the ocean. It's called the Zwin or something, the uh, national park. Anyway, I'm hungry. Yep. And this is how we cross the border from Belgium into the Netherlands. Like Yeah, not a lot, not a lot has changed, but this is a small town on the ocean that is called Slas, someone with a BMW just. Slas is also a very, very small town with a lot of good places to eat. Oh, I could have gone, could have gone there as well. So uh, yeah, there is a lot of good restaurants here, a lot of restaurants, a lot of hotels, and also a lot of water and a lot of bridges. Can I go in there? Yeah, sure, why not? Look at that. It's a very good looking small little town from the Dutch. And yeah, everybody's actually just walking on the streets here. Like it's absolutely nothing. Gotta make sure I don't hit any tourists here. It smells a little bit fishy as well. Hmm, nice. So this is Slas. My friend actually over here has a candy shop called Rocks Rolls. Look at that. That's his candy shop. Custom made candy. Yeah. Fun fact, I didn't download the map of the Netherlands, so it's not never giving me into the Netherlands. It can't find its way into the right spot. That's why I'm uh, kind of lost here. It's not an adventure, I'm truly lost. And just like that, welcome to Katzen. Yeah, it, it looks a lot better as this. This is just some weeds growing over here. And it, I promise, I promise it's going to look a lot better. As you can tell, there is a lot of construction going on over here. A lot of brand new apartments, hotels are being built over here. There is like a massive building coming here over here. And trust me on this one, the prices over here are nuts. It is not Knokke, where we'll be in a couple of seconds. But uh, it is it is really expensive here. Like that apartment on top is probably going to set you back like seven, eight hundred grand for a small apartment. Uh, in Knokke, where we'll be going in a couple of minutes, it will probably set you back like 1.5 to 2 million or something. So it, it's it's a little bit cheaper as Knokke, but you know. So this is the other part of Katzand. It's just some shops next to each other. And that's about it. The ocean on that side, nice building over there. Let's find something to eat so we can uh, head our asses over to France because I do want to have a ham and cheese croissant. Now, uh, very friendly people from this little shop behind me. And uh, I actually ordered some kibblings. Kibblings is actually codfish with a little crust on it. I'm not gonna eat it where all the tourists are. I need a better view. Yeah. Hot, hot. I need to start going to France right away. It's already midday. This is lunch. 
it is 12 o'clock on a Saturday today. So uh, I have a live premiere with you guys. So my new YouTube video is getting uploaded and I'm uh, live chatting with you guys. <laughs> Gotta love these seagulls. They can actually see when you throw something in the air from a distance, look at that. Look, here it is, look at that. Come on. Here we go, just go leave there buddy. You have seen it, I know you've seen it. Pick it up, it's some fish for you buddy. Look at that, I know you've seen it. You've got eagle eyes, see that? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, do love some uh, animals. That was a nice kibblings, but it is time to uh, turn the bike around and uh, head our ass over to uh, France. Yeah, okay. Uh. Um, okay. That no idea to block me. Oh. I need a croissant with a uh, ham and cheese. Lil Willy here. <laughs> Lil Willy with the uh, with the R twelve fifty RT over speed bump. Sure, why not, Smokey? Why not? Why not? And just like that, we are at Knokke, where the resorts are. All the fancy cars, fat ass Range Rovers. Uh, probably the top apartment of that. That one is for sale right there. That corner is probably going to be like like a one point five million euros. Uh, we got some more golf carts, Mercedes G classes, of course but uh, more golf carts uh, and golf carts over there. Look at that lawn. That lawn is like, looks like very expensive. Let's head over to the center of town and uh, let's see what we get. Uh, some Teslas. It's not all the fat, big ass cars are mostly parked in the center of town, but it's all, look at that. This is, this is Kalaka. The, the beach is over there actually. Uh, she's uh, going out with her dog on a golf cart. Trollic shop, Carrigui, Maison de Grève, Nathalie. It's like, uh, it's like, uh, Okay, uh, Paul and Shark. There's, it's like, it's like very, very, very uh, sure, very uh, expensive stores over here. Uh, we have like the um, Louis Vuitton shop and whatnot. Now oh, look at that. We got a Ferrari F90. Nice room. But that's just that's just normal here. This is like the Monaco or the Saint Tropez of Belgium. A car spotter. Look at that. It is a uh, natural habitat. Look at that. Hey, okay. look at that. GT3 RS. <laughs> That's a cannonball of a car. Do want to drive one of those? She she Why is everybody looking at me? <laughs> sure, sir. Sir, no drama. I have, I have actually uh, all the time to get into three other countries today. Sure. Anyway. Uh, more G classes here. Anyway, that is Knokke. I'm not gonna bore you guys out with uh, more golf carts and uh, very, very rich people over here. Yeah, we're gonna go for the backside, the countryside, and uh, let's go to France. Country number three. Let's go. What do we have? Is it a GS? Is it a GS? We have something on the highway. Most of the time it's a GS or an, uh, an RT like this one. But I think uh, today's video, no, yes, yes. Of course we have an, uh, we have an R1250 RT. It's the same bike as I saw earlier this morning. Look at that, oh, it's mine in blue. Look at that. He's got like the, like a brake light or something on the top case. Oh, that is not, I'm just, I'm just gonna, just gonna follow this guy. I'm just gonna, just gonna tag along here. We gotta do a quick pit stop because you know, it's a BMW and uh, I mean. Yay! Yeah. It's a BMW thing, I know. That was absolutely delicious, some uh, cold brew. But uh, now I have to get my ass out of here. Because you guys know that when a uh, Smokey goes on caffeine, we have two things. I can't stop talking. I'm getting a bit, uh, a bit faster in my speech. And the second thing is my intestines are probably going to be exploding, imploding like that uh, submarine that went to the uh, Titanic a couple months ago and yeah, also imploded. So uh, my intestines are going to give the same exact feeling as that. All going to happen on the inside. So uh, I hope to get to my destination and I hope to, to see a, a poodle party there because it's gonna get gnarly. Anyway, let's carry on. Another BMW on the highway. I wonder what model it is. Or what he's riding. Oh, well, look at that. Another 1250, another 1250 RT. Was that the same guy as before? Or is this just 
or is it just another guy? It's like the third motorcycle I'm seeing and another R1250 RT bike. <laughs> that, is, that is great. Yeah. Quick pit stop for gas. Oh, they also have a Starbucks here. Look at that. Another Starbucks? Nah, we're not going from Starbucks to Starbucks. That's not, that's not what BMWs are about, right? <laughs> And just like that, we're back out. Ah, oh, no Starbucks, no, no Smokey, don't, don't feed the meme, don't feed the meme. We're not Starbucks to Starbucks riders. Leave no comment on this one. This is just just gonna show this uh, man and his wife and a carpet. <laughs> well, you wouldn't have expected it to see that a BMW just on the highway. Ah. Another motorcycle on the highway. What is it? Oh no way! No, you gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me! It's another one. It's another one. It's another K1600 GT. <laughs> Uh, Houston, we uh, have a problem. We are close to the French border and uh, I'm catching some rain here. Uh, eh, the pas bon, the pas, the pas bien, no, the pas good. Eh? <laughs> but just look at the views. Look at the views. We're close to Dinant, Belgium. So we're about to buy, uh, we're about to cross the border with France, getting into France, and I need my French baguette. I need a baguette with cheese and ham or something. I'm not sure what I'm going to eat here, but it has to be a France delicacy. France, why am I giving the Italian finger? It's not, it's, I need French. French food. Yet again, nice view. Oh, some more nice views, look at that. So a funny fact, uh, previously you have seen me uh, download the map of the Netherlands because it wasn't in the Motor Motorrad BMW app. Um, France isn't also in the app. So I didn't actually plan this tour. I was just like, hey, maybe I can do like five countries in a day and I just started riding and just pinpointing in the country the place where I wanted to go. Uh, so now it's just probably taking me to the border again because yeah, it's, it's not crossing the border because the app does not have the French, French map. It's not an adventure if you planned everything. Yeah, it was going to feel a lot more comfortable if I actually planned it, maybe. But you know, smoky do, smoky monkey do, monkey monkey see monkey do, right? <laughs> so in about 300 meters, I should reach my destination. That might be the border. That might absolutely be nothing whatsoever. I'm not really sure. This ah, oh, here we go, here we go, France, ladies and gentlemen, we are crossing the border with France. Yes, I'm in France. Country number three. Holy cow, it's almost four o'clock and I still have two more countries to go. So I've got to go over there, find my baguette, put some cheese, baguette with cheese, gotta have that. Uh, probably take a poop and a piss. And then we're going to Luxembourg. I still have to go to Germany and then we still have to get our asses home. Um, not really sure if we're gonna make it. Maybe have to get a hotel, I don't know. French baguette, first on the list. Brico Marché, what the hell is a Brico Marché? Is that food? What's food? I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, found it. Let's get some baguettes. I kid you not. The GoPro 9 broke again. The screen is on. It's not doing anything. Unbelievable. We need the, the Borussia, Borussia one, but the red one. The red one with uh, nuts in it. Absolutely the best in combination with that salami. Awesome. And the loot for today. I found some bubble tea, a warm baguette straight out of the oven, <sighs> salami in a bag, and some burrata cheese. Let's find a good spot, have a quick lunch. Downloading the map of Luxembourg. Probably going to have to download the map of Germany as well. What the hell am I doing here? I mean, I, I just need a spot to eat. This is not a nice spot to eat. I'm, I'm gonna find a better spot. One eternity later. Yep, <sighs> looks like a good spot for dinner. 
Nice. Burrata. French, French cheese? Is burrata French? Burrata French? I have no idea. Oh, a lot of water going on here. Oh, yeah. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> you might be thinking, Smokey, why the hell does this make me happy? Well, about seven, eight years ago, I was, still, I was still working in a shitty factory, making Heinz ketchup for a shitty boss. My boss said, Christopher, that's my real name by the way, you got 23 minutes to go wash your hands, get to the canteen, take out your spaghetti, put it in a microwave oven, eat it all up, get back, wash your hands again, and make sure you're on time. I said, I can make that happen in 23 minutes, but for some reason you cannot smoke a cigarette also in 23 minutes. Yeah, shit hit the fans once again, yelling at my boss, boss was yelling at me. I preferred this spot with a French baguette as my work office. And it every week. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thank you for watching. That crust. Oh. That is that. Gotta enjoy the peace and quiet. There's a highway over there for some reason, but anyway, let's get cracking. Luxembourg, here we come. Ah, maybe a little bit ah, It doesn't bother with it. It doesn't bother with it. Anyway. Ah, oh, E411, Luxembourg. Let's go. Time nuts. Let's see how fast this thing actually is. 130 horsepower, let this thing fly. <laughs> Ah, that will keep me awake. <laughs> and another one, what's going on? <laughs> ah, almost there, we're uh, getting close to Hufaliz. Hufaliz, very beautiful spot. I think the World Championship uh, mountain bike is also here. Yeah, I don't see much here, but it's like a very high bridge. That's something I do know here. Dude, that French radio is absolutely <laughs> breaking my balls here. Ah, I love French people, but... If you don't understand the language, it's like where the parafos are. It's a perfect fromage with this and that. I think the uh, the sugar of the uh, of the uh, yeah yeah. Now crossing the border with Luxembourg. Now that is something else. There's going to be like cavity searches. They're going to frisk me. It's it's not as easy as uh, going into France or going into Germany. Luxembourg is, is special. Luxembourg, that's it. We've made it to Luxembourg. I was going to push it over the border, but it's just like a sign. It says L. Now, if I was paying more attention back in school with the geography lessons and wouldn't be cheating as much, I would probably uh, could tell you more about the history and whatnot about Luxembourg. But I have to be uh, honest with that. I don't know not, not that much about Luxembourg. The only thing that I know is that the people from Belgium always go cross the border to get alcohol and cigarettes because cigarettes from Luxembourg are a lot cheaper. Probably because of the taxes. And also, my speeding tickets here are uh, not going to be as bad as in Belgium. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say about Luxembourg. I already love Luxembourg. Lower cost of speeding tickets. Anyway, off to Germany! Jawohl! <laughs> if one of those two is not a BMW or none of them is a BMW, I'm giving every one of my subscribers and my viewers some money. I'm still not sure what it is, but I've seen so many BMWs and especially the R1250 RTs like this one. Like, I've not seen that many motorcycle riders, but I swear to God, this, yeah, the, the back one is already, I think the front one is like an older model RT or something. And the back one is, that's a, that's a Jess. It's just, oh, it's a small lady. Look at that. It's a small woman on a Jess, isn't it? starting to look like Germans. 
We have a Mini Cooper that is British. We are not in the UK, Smokey. I think, and I'm almost sure of it, that the little town I just passed was actually the German border. Because this is looking way too much German for me. Oh, that was a Polish plate. That has no license plate. That has a Belgium license plate. Oh, no, no. They all have Belgium license plates here. So, no German plates just yet. This looks nice. It's a little, a little spot for prayer. That's nice. Man, this is... I'm going steep up the hill. What is going on here? The Germans really built their country on a mountain. <laughs> I'm at some kind of point. Not really sure where I'm at. Or if this is even Germany already, but... Uh, it sure looks like Germany. Nah, be quiet. No, no, be quiet. I have no idea. I have to check. I have to check. Uh, yeah, the German map. I haven't downloaded the German map yet. So it's not, it's not sending me to Germany because uh, the map wasn't downloaded yet. Great success. Great success. Uh, for the next time, Smokey, download maps if you're going to use the GPS first. Yeah, before you start riding. Good idea, Smokey. Good idea. Nice, nice small river in the back roads of not yet Germany. Yeah. Hmm. You know, I'm not lost. I'm not lost. I'm. I know that I'm in Germany, but I've taken so many small farmers' towns. Yeah. Anyway, I mean, it's Germany. Winterspelt. Winterspelt. Hasselbach. Hasselbach. And now we have a long way home. Oh boy. We made it into Germany and. I don't know much about Germany, but this does look kind of good. It's not Switzerland. Um, don't see a lot of mountains. There's a little bit of mountains over there, but I like waterfalls. I gotta travel through Switzerland. Anyway, let's find some schnitzels and head our asses back uh, home because we're going to, yeah, probably going to be doing like close to a thousand kilometers or so. But it's pretty awesome if you can do five countries in a single day. We did Belgium, the Netherlands, Baguette in France, Luxembourg, and now I'm in Germany. That is five. Is there another country close? No, I don't think so. Anyway, let's get back on the bike. <sighs> let's do some cruising. <sighs> German cruising. Where's the Autobahn? Hey, wait. Maybe I can do a little bit of Autobahn. Hmm, that would be cool. Do a little bit of top speed with the uh, R1250RT. I'm in Germany. Maybe there is Autobahn here. Ah, we might, we might. I'm not gonna promise you anything, but we might be able to do a little bit of top speeding here. Maybe that is Autobahn. That is Germany. I see Ausfahrt. That means Autobahn, wait. Um, oh yeah, Smokey, put up the screen. This is going to be Autobahn, yep. Put up the screen. Let's see how comfortable we can do like 200 kilometers an hour. It is Autobahn. We can uh, ride as fast as we want. Yeah. Ooh, calm down now, Smokey. Calm down now. Ooh. Ah, I'm going into Belgium right here. No, no, I was so close to the border. <laughs> no way. No, nope, 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 nope. I'm going the other way. Wait, I want to get off again. I'm gonna go off here. <laughs> I just <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Not going to do that. No. Feeling that they do not want me to try the top speed. Hmm, they close off the highway. What is what's going on here? What is this? Can I go through here? Also, no. What the hell? They closed. They closed me going on the highway. What's what's going on here? This is this is strange. That is that is weird. Might be a sign from God that I shouldn't be doing it. I don't know. That is weird. It is getting dark any second now. The sun is going down and I'm somewhere a long way from home in the German mountains. That's a, that's a typical smoky special. <laughs> so, um, yeah. yeah, forest roads might not be the best of ideas to go into the forests when the sun is going down smoky, but I mean, it is still a very long way home. 
probably going to be over a thousand kilometers when I get my ass back home, but oh, there's like a little a little wooden shack in the middle of freaking nowhere and the sun is going down. Maybe I should knock on that door and probably not. Probably not. <laughs> One eternity later. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, that's a lot of wind. That's a lot of wind. I mean, it is Saturday evening. I'm listening to some music. I'm not gonna turn it too loud because, you know, copyright claims and whatnot. I still have a long way ass home, but we are going to make it home. We are going to make it home. Free pictures, free pictures, take a picture. Aw oh, man. The last 190 kilometers. Maybe I was a little bit loud. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>